Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to work with transitions in Sony Vegas. I've already pre-selected three clips that I'm going to drag in. So World of Warcraft clips, me doing 5v5. Now I'm going to move these aside a bit. I have this one enabled right here, Auto Ripple. What this does is it enables me to just if I select this one, it's actually going to move everything else behind it. Also. If I do it like this, it moves only these two. But I want to move it all and I want to have a solid color in the beginning. So go to media generators and solid, solid colors. And then I'm going to drag in a white clip right here. See, because I had the, um, the uh, auto ripple enabled, it actually pushed everything as well. So if I add another one down here, See, it pushed it even more. So I'm just gonna remove that again and see what happens when I remove it. It actually moved it all the way back. That's a good way to, for editing as well, by the way. If you're editing, you wanna cut something out right here, then you um, uh, then you can just like split them up and then remove this part right here. And then it moves itself back. It's, it makes it a lot easier to edit your stuff. But normally I don't want to have this enabled uh, when, unless I absolutely have to, so I do it manually. Okay, so now we've uh, made that back to normal again. I'm just gonna delete the audio because we're got, not gonna use that. So I'm gonna just right click on the track and select delete track. Bye bye audio. <laughs> gonna add another video track because I'm gonna show a bit more things about this stuff. So let's say we wanna have like a transition because Let's see here, it goes directly from being white and then bam, into the clip. That's normally not a good thing, right? So we want to add a transition. So what you go, you, you go to transitions right here. You have a lot of different transitions and a lot of them actually don't look that good. Like for example, these things, they are okay, but they're not the best. Um, this one's actually okay. But what I normally do is I use cross effects or linear wipe. That's normally the ones that I use. Um, so let's use a cross effect. Now you can actually see by hold, holding your mouse over these, what they actually do. Um, and I'm normally I use this cross, uh, cross blur A to B. You can also choose it like this, but I use the A to B one a whole lot. What you do is you hold your mouse down and drag it in between those two clips right here. And then you remove this one and you can see that it actually added the effect right there. I'm going to zoom in and holding down control alt and shift using my mouse wheel to just scroll through the whole thing. See how it actually makes the transition for you. There's another way to go about this because sometimes it bugs when you want to do these transitions. All of a sudden it only adds it to one of the tracks or one of the clips. So what I'm, I'm going to delete this again. There's a way to get around this. If you have this one up here enabled called automatic crossfade. When you move this one right here, I'm actually going to enable this one up here again also ripple. So I'm sure that everything behind this clip gets moved as well. So all these three clips get moved with this clip here. So you can do it like this as well. So just move it in. See, it selects like, you can select how long you want the effect to be. So normally it's actually set to one second like this. So one second cross effect or yeah, transition. You can actually set it to less than that. So let's say I wanted to add 20, right? 0.20 then you can add the effect to it. That's a good way to have more control of your cross effects and, um, and your transitions uh, in general. So you can do it like that. But a thing that most people don't know is that you can actually use these, um, these transitions to, to, to just a single layer as well. Like for example, if I just insert some text here, uh, See, so I go to insert text media and I had this um, track right here highlighted. That way it will create the text in there. 
So now it's white background, but it's also set to white text. I'm just going to write something here. Um, I'm just going to write, I'm going to write, what am I, transition. Like that. And I'm going to go to uh, properties. And I'm going to click on this one here because I hate these color things. So I'm just going to click there and then drag this one all the way. See now it's it's black text, right? And um, what I normally do when I do these kind of things, I add a uh, normally if it's oh shit, I didn't want that. See now it has a yellow outline. If it was like a, a black uh, layer or something like that or whatever if it was footage where the text was I normally have a black outline or something like that we're not gonna have that here but I'm gonna add a, a shadow effect to it so I'm just gonna click there see it just added some shadow to it and um, now we want to have a I'm not gonna mess around with the um, with the uh, the font or anything I'm just gonna leave it at this you can change it to whatever font you want if you want to do stuff like this. But you can actually do the exact same thing. Add a cross effect or whatever you want. I'm going to choose a linear wipe. So I'm going to add this one. I use this a whole lot. You can see it's kind of faded when it goes in. And I like that instead of having it go like this where it's just straight on. So I'm going to add this to the beginning of the track or the, the text layer like this. And that will make it look like this if I play it. See? So you can do you can use that for just text or any layer for that matter. You can do it just if you want it at the beginning of a video as well. This is also if you do if I done it the other way around. Like uh, let's say we want a cross effect, right? We use this one A only. It's actually just going to make it like it's just fading in. It's going to look like it just fades in. See? There's another way to do that as well. By just taking your uh, mouse cursor to the top corner. Just dragging this one. It does the exact same thing. See? It did the exact same thing. But you can do it with these effects. It's a lot more... Well, it's a lot easier to do it that way, if you ask me, just taking this one. If I'd selected this one, it would have been blurry. By doing it this way, it would just be like fading in. But you can do it, do it like that as well. So now we've covered how to actually make transitions. And in case they do bug, let's say, for example, um, at this one. And I wanted to do a cross effect. I'm actually going to on purpose try to make it the wrong way. See, it won't actually let me do it the wrong way. See, it actually does it right. Sometimes it doesn't do it the right way. It's a bug in, in Sony Vegas. But if it does that, just remember to have this one up here, the automatic crossfade enabled, and then simply moving the clip in over the other one like this. And then adding the effect afterwards. And then you can do it that way. I hope you found this uh, little small tutorial somewhat useful. <laughs> if you did, please thumbs the video up and leave some comments. Um, and uh, leave some video responses as well. It might give you a few more views on your videos. Who knows? But, uh, but yeah, um, that was it for this guide. So take care. Have fun. See you in the next one.